A record crowd at the Pope Convocation Center as Campbell looking for a nationally televised win against Coastal Carolina. But the Chanticleers come to play on the road once again. Here's Elijah Wilson knocking down the three. CCU led throughout most of the first half, but the 6'9 big man with range, Darius Leonard, was keeping Campbell in it. At the half, it was a 35-32 Coastal Carolina lead. Second half, big play here as Badu Jang slams it down, but he gets called for a technical foul. That results in five straight Campbell points. Andrew Ryan's three puts the Campbells in front, 43-41. But the Shauna Clears had an answer throughout. This is Warren Gillis putting Coastal up by six. Final moments now. It's Leak Leak with the three to get Campbell within one. But Josh Cameron calmly sinks two free throws, and the Campbell shot to force overtime is off the mark. Cameron hauls down the rebound, 61 to 58. Coastal Carolina gets a huge road win over Campbell. We're a team that is playing extremely well on the road right now. I mean, it's uh, perhaps it's the energy from the crowd that they're feeding on. I don't know, but we certainly bring it, and. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the better road teams that I've seen just from the standpoint of who they are, how young they are, and what they're accomplishing on the road. Everybody on the floor is giving 100%, and when it happens, you get uh, loose balls, you get rebounds, you make extra passes, uh, you get to the rim and maybe open it up for another, for another person, and um, it's all coming together right now. Everyone, including Cliff Ellis, surprised how this young team is coming together. We'll have much more on the Campbell win, plus the week in CCU basketball on the Cliff Ellis Show, Sunday at noon, right here on WPDE News Channel 15. In Boys Creek, North Carolina, I'm Rich Crampanis, WPDE News Channel 15 Sports.